Yeah, um, housing is one of the most important, one of the most critical issues that is facing Asia, which is home to a large number of the world's poor. And uh, if there is one way of uh, measuring poverty, it would mean uh, measuring the access to public services, and housing is a very important uh, public service. Um, if we are to solve the problem of housing the large number of the poor in Asia, and in fact solving the problem of housing, which is not just of the poor, but even of the middle class, because nobody can afford to, to live in most of the big metropolitan cities in the developing world, and it is growing, the population is growing, and the number of houses um, is just not enough to keep up with the increase in population. Now, it must be remembered that the reason why people come to the city is not to, to live there, just to get a house there, but they come there because there are no jobs available where they are. They come into the cities to find jobs. They come in search of livelihood. And when they come searching for livelihood, they come here and find there's no place to live. And, uh, and even if they are able to build themselves a small hovel somewhere, that place does not give them the, the, the water, energy, and all the other civic amenities that should be available. They, just, just, they, are, they are expected to grab a bit of land in the city and manage to cling to the, to the periphery of the city without any of the other civic amenities. But in fact, the UN lately in the discussion on the Sustainable Development Goals has talked about Goal 11 um, being a framework for uh, ensuring that everyone has a habitat that is sustainable, that's resilient, and that's affordable and accessible. And if that can be a framework for us to find uh, a habitat, not just a house, not just a shelter, not just a roof over one's head, but a, but a, but a habitat in which there is access to uh, a place where a person, a family can re realize themselves to realize their dreams and their aspirations, whatever they may be. This is linked with um, the question of land, because you cannot build houses without having land. Now, houses, housing in most cities has become, um, I mean, even though it is a state, uh, it's a state's responsibility, the state is privatizing this responsibility and not building homes for the poor. Uh, they say there is no land, and it is true there is no land, because land is, ha I mean, real estate, not just land, but real estate is one of the most lucrative kinds of investment for capitalism. It, in fact, saves capitalism from, saved capitalism from the crisis that it underwent in the last few years. So given that, uh, land and speculation in land is something that nobody, and not definitely not the state, is not uh, giving any signs of putting a stop to it. And without land, it is not possible to build. So today, taking control of land has become an important part of the people's movement's agenda. It has to be a part of our agenda because that is where the war is going to be fought, the fight for urban land. And that alone will ensure that housing is provided to all, a habitat is provided to all.